Hey YouTube, I'm trying to get my van situated. It's Thanksgiving break and I'm ready to go. I'm sick, so they're trying to tell me, no, you should sick, whatever, I'm ready to go. So I'm trying to get my van set up. So let me show you. This is a setup and I did buy the bug screens for the front and the back back there, but it's so long and I want to cut it, but I'm so bad at cutting. So I might just deal with it and just tuck it under for now. Cause I'm horrible at cutting and I don't want to ruin it. But if I do cut it, I guess I would just cut it like down to maybe here. So I'd have that overlap and I can just get in and out. So that's the idea, but let me show you how I'm set up. I have my, this is just an extra water bottle cause of my older van, it tends to run hot every now and then. Well, it did during the summer. I don't know. It's cooler weather now, so I don't know how it's going to do in the winter. But that's my setup. My curtains, they're black on the other side. They're blackout curtains. And here's my mini fridge. Just a 10 liter, I think. And it's just on off. It's just a fridge. It, well, it could be a warmer or a cooler. <laughs> but it plugs in. And I have a 1,000 watt power source for that. And here's where I keep all of my electrical things, batteries, binoculars, walkies, cords, things like that. The back, I took out that seat and it's just open and I've been tucking different things and here's my air conditioning unit that I only use during the summer when it's plugged in and behind there I have my new toilet that I use here. That's some protection. I <laughs> have my toilet and under there. This is the extra toilet seat cover that I no longer use. I put bed on risers so I can have extra space for my clothes here. And I'm a partner, part timer, so I don't need that many clothes. I'm thinking about taking out this rug that's on top because coming in and out, it gets dirty really quickly. So since I'm turned this way, this is just a dual 12 volt plug that I put in there and this is just, I put this to hold it up so it won't pull because it kept pulling out out of the thing. So I glued it back and I put this as a support. And so I have greenery, I'm sorry, greenery here. And I have a clip on fan that's attached to this wooden stand that I built for my television. More greenery behind there and a solar lamp. I don't know if it has enough power to turn on here. I haven't put it out in so long. Nope, no power because <laughs> it's been inside. And this, if you're wondering, that's my uh, television antenna. And I put it on the outside once I park somewhere. Here's another power source that I use for this fan and to charge my phones if I need to. And all the way in the back, I don't think you've ever seen it. My Jackery back there. Okay, my daughter's calling me. So I have my storage. I have some shoes back here on my storage, my books, some extra bungees, and all the way in the dark back there, you can see my Jackery. It's right here. There she is. That's a 300 watt Jackery. It's at 21%. I need to charge it. But, and this is my bed setup. I do have a four inch memory foam cushion on top of that I have my other white comforter that I just folded over so about the car the car noise in the background I am on a main street and one of my residents just started their car so I'll wait Over here, like she's never gonna leave. Over here is just some air fresheners, some extra push-on lights that need batteries replaced in them. Uh, this is supposed to be a Wi-Fi extender, but so far I haven't seen any difference. It's, the jacker is not turned on, but this is plugged into the jacker as well. And when it was on, I didn't really notice any difference, but I guess there actually has to be some Wi-Fi in order for it to extend. Wi-Fi, so maybe that's why. And this is just a little candle. And if I want just some little subtle light, I can turn it on. 
I have those, a lot of those actually. This is a lantern that I don't even need on right now. I'm not sure why I turned it on. Oh, all right. And of course my snap on window covers. This is a little battery operated fairy lights in a jar that I got from the Dollar Twenty. Well, still a Dollar Dollar Tree when I bought those fairy lights, but from the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. <laughs> this is another fan that I have plugged into the Jackery. Another solar powered lantern, and this is new. I got this so I can watch my iP iPad while I'm lay laying back or lying back because I would typically have my iPad over here, excuse the junk, just rearranging. I would have my iPad sitting up here, propped up here on that so it can sit up. So I bought this bad boy to put, so I can watch my iPad while I'm lying back instead of leaning over to the side. So over here, I bought these storage shelves. It's actually comes with six and I didn't need all six. So in here I have like bathroom stuff bags for the bathroom, kitty litter, some other hygiene, baby wipes, the the baby wipes, portable shower, face mask that we don't really use anymore, some toilet seat covers, all that type of thing. So get your hand sanitizer and gloves in the back. That's there in that first one. Because of course the commode is right up front and now I've got my cord was blocking that. <laughs> it's being stubborn today. And any other time, they'll just clip right in. That's how it goes. And this, I've been rummaging through, looking for something. So this is where I keep extra lights, my remote controls, and the last time I went somewhere, I just threw my cords in here. These don't actually belong in there. These are all my lights and extra baby wipes and anything that overflowed from the hygiene section up there. These cords are not even supposed to be in there, but I'll deal with that later. My remote controls down there. Extra light sources. Up on this side, I have some dry goods, some seasonings, my coffees, all in there. I haven't tried these yet. I saw those at the store. I'll try that. It's bean, chili beans, stew. It's kind of a stew noodle soup. So I'm like, that seems interesting. Let's see. Oatmeal packets. seasoning right there. The bottom one down here is just extra. I guess my junk drawer. It does have I had my heater in here. I'm now I'm testing my heater out with my 1000 watt power source to see how long it lasts. Uh, it's down to 50% after only two hours. So I'm thinking that heater, that mini heater, it's not going to be great. And that's kind of a heater that you put over your burner, your propane stove, and it'll warm up the room. And I've used that last year. And of course, a plug-in salt lamp. And that's just a shelf I found at another dollar store. And in the back, I have an array of supplies. My butane stove, my coffee cream, spray bottles with vinegar and water, a thermos, a box cutter, some lighters, and a fire starter. There's my mirror. And also all of the, this is a paper towel holder with no paper towels on it. All my pots and pans are back there in the back. sprays and butane and my fire stop funnels carbon dioxide detector smoke slash smoke detector extra bags and my bug swatter and under my bed in the back this is an extra shelf that I probably won't use oh my mirror fell I'm just trying to see if I had a use for that I saw it in the store and got it but yeah that is my current setup. <laughs> and there's me. I don't know if you can see me in that mirror, but yeah, there I am. 
But I need to put my other pillow and my comforter on top of the bed, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and I didn't place, I love that embroidered. That's what I usually use for both sides of the doors, both sliding doors for my bug screens before. And I really wanted to keep it, but I like the way this opens and closes. I can just get in and out. But I kept that one on that side, because I love it. And I need to add my pillow. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. But my comforter that goes on top of the bed. And my extra body pillow, which is actually the what I cut off of the memory foam mattress to help it fit. And I was just thinking about using this so I can somewhat extend the bed, extend my feet out put it right there at when I sleep at night and I'm not gonna put my full weight on it because it's foam and it's not supported but it'll help me extend uh, it'll help me extend my bed out a little bit and I'm just gonna put my comforter on and I'll be back okay it's not straight and it's not neat but it'll do and this is my setup Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.